Hello, everybody. I know you guys are so excited. We had such an overwhelming positive feedback from the last show that the three of us did together, the Divine Feminine on the battlefield right now with our lipstick and our jewelry. And <laughs> that's how we like it. And so I'm super excited. How are you ladies doing this morning, Stephanie and Kristen? It is, and I got to say, it is five o'clock in the morning for you right now, Kristen. So. Yes. You are a rock star. I feel great. Hey, you know, it's weird though. Lately, all week, like multiple times, 3.33, I keep waking up. So I feel fine. Right consciousness. Yeah. Right consciousness. Yep. Of course, it's eight o'clock for Stephanie and me over here on the East Coast. Yeah. So we're, we're not as in it. But you look beautiful. Five o'clock in the morning. Oh, and look thank you. <laughs> well, no. I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> yes, I was about to say, now, why are we filming so early? Can you tell our audience why we're filming so early? Well, because me and Jason have this plan. We have to go, we're going there anyway to celebrate, you know, a birthday. So why not bring the cards? We're going to pull some cards <laughs> and just see, pick up some energies and see where it takes us, you know? God, I wish I could be oh, there. Cool. I know. I, I want to, like, teleport you over here both of <laughs> pretty soon i think we'll have that ability just to yes. yeah oh my gosh that'd be so cool <laughs> i know and we were talking off camera and we won't give too much away but i'm hoping that in the future there's going to be a lot more on location stuff yes stuff i actually would love it i would love um at the Georgia Guidestones. I don't know if you're familiar with the Georgia Guidestones, Kristen. They're like an, an hour and a half away. I've been there a couple of times. They're like 90 minutes outside of Atlanta, but they're basically wow. the devil's 10 commandments, 10 commandments of the new. And it's the creepiest place to go. And I'm like, you hear that? No. It is thundering all of a sudden. That is not regular thunder. Yeah. It is really, really bizarre. I think the earth is cleaning itself. And I think well, maybe actually before we get to the yellow brick road, let's ask that. Are some of the, these random weird thunderstorms oh. that keep popping up? Is this wind galactic? storms, the wind, I, I don't, it's probably crazy. It's more like crazy wind here in the Northeast than I've ever, ever experienced. I've lived here most of my life. Well, so it's like, look if you look on the weather radar, something <laughs> actually looks like a dragon. And I think it was the Cassiopeians that talked about how we would start experiencing the battles in the galactics, but it would come across as crazy weather for us. So let's ask. Well, I've that. seen dragons up in the clouds. I have pictures. It's oh crazy. Yeah. The clouds actually represented three dragons. Let's uh, see. Earth cleansing herself with these thunderstorms. Or is it the battles from the uh, galactic heavens that we're actually experiencing here on Earth as weather? I do oh. have some good and bad. Good mm -hmm. versus going on. So battle right on. Yeah. Spiritual battle. It's And it's still going on. So that I think that's why we're seeing all this weird weather, wacky weather. Mm -hmm. And um, even out here, like the, the, the skies have been gloomy blue like not the right blue that i used to see when i was little you know but um like, yeah it's like dirty all the time the sky it's weird i'm getting something interesting are you oh sorry are you still going um kristen no i'm good we need, like a button so when we're done we can press yeah. the button and go your turn <laughs> for, for the question i do get an ace of cups so i get a yes on the question however there is a major battle that is going on seven of swords kind of and also to this card it's like it's the sneaky card so kind of just sneaks up on you some you're going to get weather you don't expect that maybe the weather channel even didn't expect although they're more focused on something that's changing yeah. for the sea <laughs> i don't know if that triggers the algorithm but um, so anyways, yeah, there's some, there's like a lot of, um, <clears throat> normally with a seven of cups, I would get like a battle or something like the chaos or something. I'm getting like sudden sneaky weather just due to battling. Um, and it's like, um, with the, with the high priestess card, it's like, you don't know what's going on. It's like, un like beneath the surface it's like other dimensional multi-dimensional right yeah and we do have two major energies so we have this emotional balance or this um 
the queen of pentacles, which is like, almost like I'm getting balancing of power, balancing of energy, because we do have this empress and the emperor card. So something to do with masculine and feminine energies, yeah. which that's been an issue. If you don't have that balance and feminine and masculine doesn't just go for people <laughs> or animals. It goes literally. Yeah. We got the same stuff. Of how funny is that? <laughs> I know. So the Cassiopeians are correct. Then that this is, so here's something interesting. I'll ask one more question about this before we get to the yellow brick road. So um, I just noticed on my phone now down here in the South, if you're from a particular area of the world, you're, mm -hmm. if you grew up there, you're used to the weather, like some, you know, like we get tornadoes down here. It gets so hot and humid in the summer times that we will have pop-up thunderstorms um, in the summertime, but never have they warned us to go inside. I just got a, this morning, got a warning app from a news, a local news station in here saying that if thunder strikes today, go inside and don't come out until the storm is over. What? Oh my gosh. And I thought that was weird. That was the first time I was like, that's strange. They never, you know, in my head, I was like, these people are babies now. Like we never had those warnings as a kid, yeah. you know, we grew up. So can we ask, is that a white hat op now telling us to go inside? If there's going to be a horrific battle in the, in the galactics? Because I, I would imagine if it was still, if that was something coming from the black hats, they would want us to be outside to get hurt or, you know, potentially hurt or something. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. It's looking much better. It was pretty bad at the beginning, but now I believe it is all positive. Yeah. So it's a good thing. So they're warning you, like, because they probably know that it's a galactic battle and it's not a real thunderstorm, even though it. Uh, it's like um, I'm picking up like side effects It's side effects of this battle. So they're like, let's get our people in. <laughs> Go inside because it's not real. Yeah. thunder. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. This is all pentacles. Every single card except for one. I have three of pentacles. So it's a collaboration that's alongside with my nine of pentacles. Um, and I have this queen of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. Like, that's a lot of yeah. pentacles. We have a lot of the same. I have the eight of pentacles. See? King of pentacles. And that's we're on so weird. Pentacles. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I have the six of swords here. So, yeah, they're telling you to move yourself because that's movement, right? Uh, that's mm -hmm. getting out of troubled waters, literally. Getting out of a thunderstorm. Whoa, I just... I just Got in a vortex just now. What is happening? <laughs> Do you that, that weather that, that like whoosh feeling? It's just like it, there must be something happening up in the heavens right now because seriously, I feel suddenly weird. Um, nine of Pentacles is like ground yourself, get inside, get into a safe place yeah. because Nine of Pentacles is such a grounding card. It's like a very earthy card. So I'm, I'm picking that up as like get to safety. Um, this Queen of Pentacles. Um, it's so is like it it's it's positively aspected so i mean i'm getting that there is positive energy around this i don't have any major arcana cards but all of it looks pretty good and the two of pentacles is set is giving you the choice obviously that's free will so i would have to go with some white hat because the white hats are all about free will yeah well, also, it just hit me, too. It might not even be danger um, from the, the, the tail end of the war, but because the veil is thinning, if P, like if I if we saw something in the sky that looked off world or didn't look, we would probably be like, oh, this is so cool and want to watch it. But for yeah. people who are not awake yet, I know that the White Hats or I believe that the White Hats are trying to, like, protect their nervous system, you know, like for the ones that aren't awake yet that are going to be ascending with us, like they don't want to shock them. They don't want to traumatize them, right? In case they see something, in case there's something that bleeds through, you want to be, and I always, I've said this before, like for those of us awake, we have to remember, at least in my case, the waking up process was extremely slow. You know, it first started with like the basic stuff, like what is this flu going around? I actually, it started I mean, okay. before that, before that I started seeing stuff, but, um, and then it gradually gets deeper and deeper and deeper to the point where you're like, what does our earth even look like? You know, so if you think about the people that are still asleep, you know, bless their hearts because they're going to get hit with everything at once. And that's going to be really traumatic for their nervous system. And I think that the white hats understand that and have that empathy. Um, so that's also a per perspective, but let's get to the main event because 
as you guys know, I'm going to put the video that we did a few days ago down in the description mm -hmm. box in case you guys missed it. Um, so you can see why we decided to do a whole second episode on this yellow brick road mm -hmm. that is in the Pacific Ocean. Now, I'm going to insert in the editing process. I am going to be inserting some pictures for you guys. But mm -hmm. this stuff came out, the, the information on this yellow brick road actually came out in the public media. Um, and we talked about that last week and it was found just so you guys know it was found in the pacific ocean north of hawaii and i hope i'm saying this right i apologize to all of our hawaiian friends the lily yukalani ridge the lily yukalani ridge um it was found along this ridge and it seems to be cobblestone but a, a lot of people think it's actually gold um, worth they, they're they're calling this is this the road to Atlantis? Does this take us to the Emerald City? Now I've got some more questions revolved uh, revolving around this um, this uh, this topic. However, I'm gonna I, I read through all of our subscribers' questions. I have them all down. But depending on where spirit takes us, where we go with the cards will depend on where the line of questions go. If that makes sense. So if spirit takes us in a direction that's not that's kind of blocking out some questions. Don't be offended. Literally, I want to remind you guys, we are talking about a potential um, alternative history. And so for this type of a subject, there's only so much research we can do because we don't have access to the information that the controllers have, right? There's textbooks for us and textbooks for them. And so a lot of this stuff that we're looking at is a lot of speculation and our opinions and the facts could change over time with what we're, I think we're going to get all the information anyway, but there's no denying that there is a road in the Pacific ocean. So um, I don't know if we asked this last week, but let's ask it again, just in case the road is under the Pacific ocean. Does that mean, will the cards let us know or will spirit let us know was there a time, because we've been told that perhaps the Noah's Ark story, the Great Flood, was the fall of Atlantis. So can we ask the cards, the, the, what, the bodies of water that we see as oceans, were they there in Atlantis? Sorry, there's a fly. <laughs> it's just a there's shapeshifter. A <laughs> just a sh Get out of here, shapeshifter. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so do, did we have oceans? Did we have oceans in Atlantis? I'm going to ask, was there not any oceans? Were there not any oceans? Okay. Or maybe it was some land that we see now as land was covered in water and it just flipped. I don't know. These cards are interesting. I, yeah, mine too. I am getting a no, like flat out. Like if I was mm -hmm. going to ask a straight up question, it's like, nope. <laughs> the Hierophants. The hermit, but there is hidden stuff, information too. But it's saying no, that there weren't. So curious about this one for sure. We know we need water to live. So I'm thinking yeah. if you guys watch the big Tartaria documentary, he shows how a lot of the uh, what we call cathedrals, churches, were actually they had water in them and parts of them and used the water out to go through what we call stained glass windows, the, the window, uh -huh. the glass was put in to block, it was for healing. So was the only water then used by these places? You want me to show you what I had first? Yeah, and then what you just said, Bryce, look at stained glass window. Come on now, religious. <laughs> yeah, Come okay. Yeah. Bryce, did you want to see what I had for the oceans? Yeah, yeah let's see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't make this shit up. Number one, the literal world had a tower moment. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm taking it literally like that. And it, and then we have here uh, masculine energy, that patriotic, patri can someone say it for me? I can't talk. Patriarchal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. And <coughs> it was put here because like seven of pentacles, like giving of something. Um, and then we have the three of swords and the ten of swords. So a surrender to and the three of swords is endings. So like the flood was literally the fall. Like that was the water coming onto the planet. Yeah. And I feel like it was actually put here um, by the ma malevolent because we had the temperance card. So it was probably God's plan anyways. Maybe to get rid of as many Dracos as possible. 
Well, we know they use. So, so let's ask this then, because we know that Jeffrey's girlfriend had a submarine and she was really big into the ocean and she created like a passport that she was going to be a citizen of the ocean. So I'm assuming that the controllers are still utilizing things at the bottom of the ocean from the Atlantean days, because just so you guys, and, I, and I'm going to say this to you guys, because I bet people keep talk, reminding me about Lumeria. Yes, I'm aware of Lumeria, but why we keep spoke, speaking about Atlantis is because from what we understand, Atlantis was the apocalypse that led to Tartaria, the thousand years of peace that put us at Gog and Magog where we're now. We'll get to Lumeria at some point, but right now in this moment, we're just trying to figure out a timeline. It's all interconnected anyways, because yeah. Lumeria was kind of a connection to Atlantis a little well, bit Lumeria, prior, but... Well, apparently Lemuria was the time before confusion. And so with Atlantis, that's when we started to pull into more polarization because what happened in Atlantis from what I understand is that there was the same thing happening now. Um, most of us were there for the fall of Atlantis and now we're back. We, we got a, what we got a round trip ticket to come back for this time too. Yay. Yeah. But in that time, the negative force, what the was, hell were we thinking? We had no choice. It was a karmic return. In that point, the negative forces won. And service to self cannot sustain itself. So that's when the, the collapse came in and then a thousand years of peace to heal. And now we're back again. So um, I forgot what I'd asked you guys and you pulled on. <laughs> oh, I didn't pull on anything yet. Oh, were the, were the controllers, are the controllers still um, using the uh, mystical powers of whatever is under the sea where these yellow brick roads are? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> I have that they are. Yeah, they have been. I have that they were. Ooh, and then I have the tower and the nine of swords. So they got cut so off. So pretty much you got yeah. what I got. I got the ace of pentacles. So that would be yes, but they had to walk away from it actually rather quickly. I have that eight of wands. So that's quick movement. <laughs> walking away. Yeah. Because now it's in malevolent hands. You mean malevolent? Good hands? Mm -hmm. In good hands? That's or what I meant. I can't talk today. In good hands. The good hands. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm not used to doing videos this early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, we're all kind of, um, it's okay. We're, we're okay. getting it now. We're good. <laughs> we're warmed up. So now, 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 so um, the article that was released about on the mainstream media about this yellow brick road found north of Hawaii. Was that then put out by the White Hats? I don't know if I asked this last time, but I want to make sure that this was put out, was exposed by the White Hats, or was it exposed by the Black Hats to try to cut off the White Hats? Was it a tactical move for the Black Hats? Because we know we're in a war, guys. We're yeah. in a chess game. And we know that the bad guys will sacrifice true information to try to con people or wiggle out of something or... Mm -hmm. uh I'm having new beginnings. It was bad, and now it looks like the White Hats. It looks like the White Hats. Yeah. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Good. Maybe we're the White Hats that took the story over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, there's some sort of collaboration in, in deals made. We have collaboration and deals being made. Two of right. Cups or three of Pentacles. I'm not getting any negative energies around it, but um, all my cards, I mean, the energies are kind of neutral almost because I have eight of pentacles. So this has been worked on for a while mm -hmm. and <clears throat> it was, so something you wish for with the nine of cups. So I maybe would go with the white hats because it's something we wish for. And then I have the tower card right here, which is leading me to make me think it's to wake people up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Well, and yeah. maybe looking looking at both of your readings together, because I literally was kind of joking, saying that we're the White Hats exposing it, but and we're not, guys. I don't want to start any rumors. Like none of us are in the military. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, just, let's just we are who we say we are. That was a joke. Yeah, but, we're just playing around. <laughs> yeah, we're just, and we're just going. We're, you guys are working with us, and the and the, the yeah. guy, we're trying to figure this out together because we don't, you know, we don't have the history books about this. So let's ask before we get into um, the Wizard of Oz, Emerald Tablets, Emerald City, that kind yeah. of stuff. Let's ask: Are the three of us supposed to be collaborating? to start to bring this to people's attentions. Interesting. Like, it's a divine plan. You can go first. I pulled so many cards. <laughs> I must put them back. 
<laughs> no worries. Cool. That's a great question, too. And when I say the three of us, again, I'm also including our subscribers watching now, too, because I've said this so many times on my show. You guys watching are a part of this as well. Just because our faces are on the screen doesn't mean anything. You guys are helping us as well. We're all in this. We're all just walking each other home down a yellow brick road, apparently. I feel so. like um, it's very, very karmic that we it's clearing up some sort of karma um, <coughs> because we have the higher font and the five of cups. I'm taking that, that like, it's like the setback that is the five of cups. The disappointment was from that previous lifetime. And then we have the higher font, which I often feel like describes a lot of the spiritual leaders that are not good. Right. With the judgment card. So we have um, karmic, like shifting, um, clearing up karmic cycles along with the world card. So a worldwide karmic clearing or um, sharing, here. exposing. Um, let me pull one more here. And I have a follow-up question after Christian, uh, Kristen yeah. reads her, her spread because now I have a follow-up question. So Three of Swords is ending. So it's like, yeah, the ending of a karmic cycle. We're finishing it. We were, yeah. 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 And that's going to be the <laughs> question, but Kristen, what do you, give it to us straight, Kristen. What do you got? Yeah, we'll see straight. And you had very similar cards. Um, definitely it's been an up and down battle, but it does look like it's all, it's turning good now. And then there was a moment where it did take a step back, another battle. I think this is more recent, but now taking the strength back to the White House. Amazing. Oh, so pretty cool. So can I ask spirit or will spirit let us know? Sometimes spirit won't tell us this information right away. We know that sometimes the cards are like, not yet girls. Yeah. Were our souls, the soul that is Kristen, the soul that is Stephanie and the soul that is Bryce, were the three of us working together at the fall of Atlantis. Wow. And is that why this Bill of Brick Road information, are, are we, are we personally, were we personally a part of that and that's why it karmically is ending. Isn't that's why we got the round trip ticket back? Yeah. Let's see. Doing it to you straight. Doing it to me straight. Because I think most of us have probably lived oh, in Oh, wow. Year. The first card, this would be collaboration. Because we're not doing a love reading right now. But hey, this is collaboration. That's cool. The Hierophant. We're very old souls. We've been, we've known each other before. Yep. Ten of Pentacles. That's a yes. That's saying yes. Wow. I have a feeling that there is some type of relation between, like, family relation here. Us. That's crazy. It just came to me. Seven of Cups. That's a beautiful card. Lots of opportunities that we have in this cycle, this lifetime now. But we've done a lot. We, we made big changes. Knight of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands. Six of Cups. Ten yeah. of Wands, right? Wow. So we have always, and look, we also delivered information. So it shows a lot of hard work and dedication, even some suffering, but we did survive it. <laughs> we kept fighting. And then we came up with all this information, passed it and helped people, helping people with the Six of Cups. Which is like, what we're doing now too. Yeah. This is the messenger. We're bringing good news. We're discovering new things. And then the King of Pentacles, beautiful, like very grounded. It looks like we discover something. Amazing. I know. But get the Two of Cups with the Lovers card so that this, again, is like a collaboration, working together, uh, contract um, for the better of humanity with the Lovers card. We have the Fool card. We're actually on the same exact mission we were on then, um, taking action. There have been a lot of setbacks, and it looks like there was a separation in that lifetime because we have the Hermit card. So I actually saw um, in visions and stuff like me being separated from groups of people, or um, I feel like a lot of us might have brutally been removed from the planet during that lifetime. Um. And now we're back. So does that mean, and I think I know the family line you're talking about, Kristen. I think we're a Merovingian. 
So Merovingian, we did a show on this. If you, I'll put the, the link down in the description box and you can pull on that if you guys will. Oh, yes. What do you have? Because this, like when you, okay, you just said that, right? But when I put these down, it's a very, um, it's just like a holy thing, you know, mm -hmm. like it's very deep. It's very, we're very old. <laughs> yeah. I feel um, like we're all connected. <laughs> we're, we're, we're grannies. We're actually, yeah. really, I feel I'm it. an old lady for sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah. we, so Steph and I did a show on this on the Merovingians. So the Merovingians, they get their name. They're the bloodline of Magdalene. So they're the bloodline of the children of Magdalene and Yahshua, which their, their story is very different from what the church tells you. And so, and I have kind of been feeling that this is definitely a bloodline war. And so I think a lot of people on the side of good that naturally gravitated to the side of good are Merovingian and they just don't even know it, that they have that heritage. And I think that's the relationship that we have. And I think that's why Magdalene especially is coming in, coming in so strong right now is because we are her descendants. We are her children, you know, and she is the, 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 she's the chalice. She's the divine representation of the divine feminine. And so, um, and so that's what I think that you're feeling is that Merovingian, um, that Merovingian family. And, and, and as we said with Stephanie, that doesn't mean that we are necessarily like our DNA. I mean, that was many years ago. So it's spread out, right? It's very spread out now. But I think that's why we had to be on all different corners of the earth to be able to participate together through instruments that they created, that the yeah. bad guys created for us to spy on us. We're using it for the betterment. So um, I don't know if y'all want to pull on that or not, or... Um, if that's it's it's because the Merovingian is also the Yashua bloodline too, which is the which is Lyran, which is there's some Venetian in there, um, mm -hmm. some Palladian in there. So um, it's everything. Man. It's everything. I love it. Everything good mm -hmm. yes. of the light. <clears throat> yeah, I, yeah. Let me pull. I want to pull a few. You pull a few. Let's just the Merovingians. Yeah. What do we put? What, what, how are we wearing the? Are we? Because she she said she got in her cards that she got the download that we were actually related, and I immediately when she said that I thought Merovingian. So are is that how the three of us are related? Is through the Merovingian bloodline. Let's see straight. Yep. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Different deck. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Also, yes, we were in the battles. King of Wands. So that's crazy. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles gives me that family. Mm -hmm. so, and it's a beautiful card. It's oh, yeah. Solid, family, beautiful. Did you say you got Ten of Cups? Ten of Pentacles. Oh. She got the I eight love of cups. cups too. She got the baby batter cup. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Yeah, you can go. I just, I always pull extras just for fun. Ten of Cups. <laughs> I do too. Ten of Cups. <laughs> So Ten of Cups is family, literally. <coughs> um, the world card, the three of... Nice. I'm all discombobulated this morning. Spirit's excited. Spirit's I excited. give permission yeah. for the audience to laugh at me all they want. <laughs> I laugh at myself. Um, <laughs> the world card and three of pentacles, collaboration um, as uh, bloodline family. Um, <coughs> we actually were very like, Queen of Swords is very, like, speaks her truth. You know, she's very intelligent. So this was like a, I feel like we were very, it was like a bloodline of truth. You know, like, there wasn't deceit or anything like that. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> very emotionally stable. Five of Swords. So five of Swords. So it looks like. There was some stuff that was happening where, you know, we had to kind of maybe leave a certain area. Maybe it was getting dangerous. Yeah. We I'm just looking started. at a couple more cards. We started, man. We were in a lot of... Uh, yeah, there was a lot of worry. Yeah. There was a lot of pain involved. Yeah. yeah. I and think the that, Hyacinth. Wow. We got this one before in the other deck, too. Yeah, I think that we were very, I mean, I know that in a past life, I was in the priestess of ISIS. I think we've all have been very, and I want to remind that to the audience as well. The law of one does state that at this time period, if you're on the earth right now, then you had seniority to come down because you are, are you've, most of us have already ascended multiple times. Yeah. So, and we, we, we volunteered to come down. I don't think some of us, I think some of us had to come back down. We had no choice karmically, but, um, 
but yeah, and I think, I think a lot of our, our, our um, trauma is from that time. I think a lot of us have a cellular memory, even though it's not clear in our cognitive thought of, of that time. And I'll tell you, Kristen, I've so, um, before we get back to the uh, yellow brick road, I've said this on my show a couple of times. I was in the bathtub one night reading a book and all of a sudden I was hit with what I thought was a vision. But then our friend who works in the quantum said it was no, it was a memory. And I was walking down a, a hallway with the person who is my twin. And I didn't want to do, I had this feeling of just like dread. Like I did not want to do what we were about to do. And all the angels were standing along the hallway and they were bowing to us as we walked down the hallway. And we got into this room and we sat on this chair and they strapped us in and he went first, he went down into this tube of light. And then I shot down into this tube of light. And our friend who works in the quantum says that's a common memory people have of taking this life of coming down to the earth. But I remember being filled with a lot of dread. Like I did not want to come back to earth, but the fact that I know a lot of people who work with the extraterrestrials, the off worlders, they always say that the first thing they'll, they'll say through channeling is they want to thank us. They want to thank us for volunteering to come back. And I, and I want to just express that to everyone watching right now, because I know a lot of people are feeling like some trauma and some PTSD and anxiety. Mm -hmm. It might not be just from this life, guys. You might be carrying a cellular memory from Atlantis. But I want to remind you guys that if you came back to this earth, you came back because the most high knew you could do this. That's how much of a badass you are. And the off-worlders and the angels, yeah, the strength yeah. part. The okay. off-worlders and the angels and the angels bow down to us for, for doing this in, in gratitude. So I want everybody watching right now to feel confident that you, any anxiety you're feeling, it's probably from the trepidation of the fall of Atlantis, but we're back again, baby. And we're not going anywhere this time. So, all right. So now that we know that the yellow brick road was fall, part of the fall of the hidden in the ocean by the fall of Atlantis, let's talk about the Emerald City. So can I ask... Can, can the cards give it to us straight? Yes. Was there was there such a thing as an Emerald City Emerald in Atlantis City. or Tartaria? Either one. Okay. And uh, there's a reason. In the back of my cards, I'm using <gasps> Emerald. Oh, love there's, it. There's this particular reason why I'm asking this, guys. And it does have to do with the Wizard of Oz. Okay. So Good. I like. Investigator cards. Because we know they tell us the truth in movies, guys. So, <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. We got a Nancy Drew this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a yes. That is crazy. We are on the same wavelength. Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, full card. First card was the King of Wands. Nine of Cups. And then there's a little bit of, like, disappointment here three cards with the three of swords, five of cups, and then the hanged man. So I feel like a sense of disappointment there, but it is giving us a yes. Okay. A, yeah. I got a yes along with burden, trouble, despair, um, eight of pentacles. So it's like somebody yeah. literally like brought it down. I mean, look at that. It's under the water. Wow. That's, that's I'm using my mermaid deck. Love it. <laughs> wow. That, that's going to be my next question then. That wasn't going to be my next question. I'll get to it. But is the Emerald City underwater? Because I was going to ask if it's... Well, when you water. said it, I had a vision of it underwater. The water. Yeah, well, I, I, I was going to ask... Little Mermaid. Little yeah. Mermaid. Little Mermaid. What, what's, what's the king's castle? What I is have it? a guess. It's underwater. Underwater. Because I was going to ask if it's Australia, because Australia is known as Oz, but I, I'm now thinking it's that 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 is underwater, the Emerald City. Yeah. And there's a, and then I'll um after you guys read, I'm, that that's going to be my, I'm like shaking right now. This is crazy. It is um, underwater. I actually feel like it moves. Ooh. Yeah, it's got like a life of its own. Then. It's. It did move. What's yes. the New Jerusalem? Is that Emerald City? You want to ask? Mm -hmm. Is the New yeah, Jerusalem? Yeah, because the New Jerusalem moves. Oh. So let me go ahead while you guys are pulling on that. I'll go ahead and read you guys from the part of the Bible where it talks about Revelation twenty-one, the New Jerusalem, and then I and saw it's feminine energy. 
I just did a we need spread. You are correct, Steph. I I yes. need. I want to ask if the priestesshood of Isis is the energy that embodies the Emerald City. Okay. Because we know the priestesshood of Isis, guys. I know that's hard for a lot of people to process because we've been so skewed on who Isis and Osiris was. But I'm going to remind you guys, historically speaking, the person known as Magdalene and the person no known as Yahshua that the church renamed Jesus oh. were part of the priestess and priesthood of Isis and Osiris. They were not Jewish. They were part of the priestesshood of Isis and Osiris, which was a healing. We talked about this last week. Again, if you guys missed our last video, I'll put it in the description box below. So it could very well be part of the... Um, because that was all about Kundalini rising. They help people find their Christ consciousness. I just got goosebumps. I know, me too. I'll, I'll tell you guys in a second. I'm getting visions. That's what I'm getting. And I just, yeah, I don't know if this is a grounded city. I think this is a city that they were utilizing. Maybe that's freaking Jelaine's submarine. Mm. Is it in Antarctica now? Or they they trapped it in, in, in Antarctica? I don't know. I want to see. Is this the New Jerusalem? Is almost City the New Jerusalem? Right, the tied up one. Yes. Yes to trap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm getting goosebumps like crazy. Oh my god! I sense it because I get it too. I think I'm sensing how you feel, and then I'm getting. <laughs> I think I like we're home, ladies. I think this is where home is. I, I want to just. I want to say this for the audience, okay? We talk about working out all the time. I just did a really, really intense workout this morning that I told Bryce about nice. unlocking stuff, okay? And every time I do these workouts, I channel so much better. Yeah. You're flushing energy, yeah. Um, sorry for the banging. My son is upstairs moving around something. <laughs> it's either thunder or or a fifteen year old. <laughs> Same so we have feminine energy, nice. strength, ten of cups, family, happiness, harmony. We also have karmic energy here with the judgment card. We have the lovers card here, and then yeah. we have the six of uh, wands. So that's a victory. So. I'm almost getting that I'm not necessarily getting a yes or a no on the, that it's the new Jerusalem, but it's absolutely something that holds a feminine energy. I keep getting the Empress card. Okay. I got that it was, mm -hmm. you know, but we can do a clarifying spread and then see what we each get. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. But all like you have the same cards too. It's crazy. This is, and I'm gonna, I am gonna get into. Um, I want you guys to think about Emerald who are watching as well. Now, I when I see, I've seen visions of my higher self, and she has like an Emerald pendant on her and chest. You said that months ago before we months were even ago. Like, my higher know. self when I was taken into hypnosis has this like emerald pendant. We know that Anahata, this chakra here is also green, but this was like a deep emerald color. And wow. I didn't know why my higher self had this emerald thing on her chest, which I'm going to get into guys. Cause this is again, going to take us back to Egypt as well. <laughs> Egypt yeah. we have that here too. <laughs> And the Wizard of Oz is all tying together, guys. I'm sensing all of that. Yes. Wow. And I do have a yes. They're very beautiful cards. We've got the High Priestess. We have the Justice card. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Strength card. Also the Chariot. That's where I started to pick up an Egyptian feel. Mm -hmm. And that's something that moves. Yes. And I'm looking at the book of Ezekiel, chapter one, it talks about the chariots up in the sky. Yes. It's not to say there's chariots in the ocean. Exactly. And I did get that card, the chariot, in this investigator deck, too. So I think that this, we're onto something, for real. It zips around. Yes. Um, have, you, you, have, you, have you pulled that, Stephanie, for this? Magician card, strength card. Nice. Um, the death card, so something that's rebirthing the world. Yeah. Knight of Cups, an offering of love and peace. 
Nice. Because, like, why did they pick the Emerald City? Why didn't they call it, like, the Sapphire City or the Pearl yeah. City? They yeah. tell us these things. Hmm. I wonder what the color itself represents symbolically. Well, let me ask this, because this might... Okay, so there's something called the em Emerald Tablets. Oh, we're going okay. with thought. Uh, yeah, thought. a lot of people have a really bad perception of thought because um, of the controllers huh. trying to confuse us. Thought was an alchemist, and that we're all alchemists. We're all able to transmute energy. That's what alchemy is. If you get Reiki healing, that's alchemy. Like that's we're able to do that for ourselves. So when they made the Wizard of Oz, I'm assuming now. I'm just going to assume that they were like telling us that there is a, a um, there is an Emerald City. We now have yellow brick road, yellow brick roads under the Pacific Ocean. Yes. Did they give it the? Is the Emerald City Emerald because of the Emerald Tablets of Thought that talks about the creation of humanity? I know that's probably going to trigger people because they've been taught that this stuff is evil. Remember, everything that they told us was good is bad, and everything they told us is bad is good. Yeah. I am getting yes and lots of green, too. <laughs> and the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups. So you get the Tower, and then we get the World card, and then the King of Pentacles. So, I mean, that is a yes. Pretty clear. Even the other cards down there. Um, more green as well. And then we do have the Six of Cups. Beautiful. Also a yes. Man. Very cool. I'm yeah. I can't wait to see what you have, Steph, because we have been in sync today. <laughs> Spirit's on fire. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. She said instinct, so I had to go there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. So I have, um, oh, let's see. Where did it go? I have the King of Wands. So the King of Wands to me is actually almost a representation of Thoth because that was a divine masculine. Am I correct? He's okay. an alchemist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So very intuitive alchemy the wands are fire the wands could be intuition so i'm getting that yes with that <coughs> i don't know much about him was he kind of like a hermit type of i'm gonna do a deep dive into him <coughs> um right now i just want to know if, if we connect him to the emerald city and the emerald tablet okay. we are we now know it's positively aspect so so i just want people to start understanding that these these things that we were told were negative you have to ask who was telling you this. Who was telling you right. they were negative, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have the Hermit card and the Death card. So, I feel like that is the controllers that probably have removed any kind of information on this. Um, it's almost like they took the information and removed it from the population, which is where I get the Hermit card, because hermiting is like isolation, right? Yeah. Um, and we do have justice coming. So this will probably come out to the public. Um, and I have the two of pentacles, maybe something to do with timelines or that. I'm going shifting. There. Yeah, we're going to go there. Yeah. So now let's talk about the Wizard of Oz. So have you ladies read the book or seen the play Wicked? So I feel like we can't really look at the Wizard of Oz on its own unless we examine Wicked too. Okay. So Wicked was originally written out as a book, as was the Wizard of Oz, and it told the story of what happened in Oz before Dorothy came. The very I've seen the play multiple times, and it's a very it's it's a musical, but it's the the storyline is very deep and very philosophical. And in Wicked, you learned that the Wicked Witch of the West, whose name is Elphaba, is actually the good guy. Ooh. And you see her when Dorothy comes. In Wicked, they used the original shoes, which were silver. Those shoes belong to Elphaba's sister, and Dorothy steals them. So the whole reason why she's chasing Dorothy is she wants her sister's shoes back. Ooh. And it's, it's Glinda. Glinda's not necessarily bad, but she does bad things. And so my question is now, what was Elf? What was the Wicked Witch of the West skin color? Green, emerald. Oh yeah. Now mm -hmm. the story goes that her mother had an affair with an alchemist, and that's how her skin turned green. 
And in Wicked, Alphaba notices that the controllers are starting to take over. At that point, they're able to talk to animals. There's all sorts of different creatures that they are in school with. And she starts to fight back. Mm -hmm. And then a whole narrative is started to make her evil. Just kind of like what's happened to us. Yeah. So can we ask or number 45? Do what? Or number 45. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So if we, um, can we ask, yeah, with Mr. T, they absolutely did that to him. Can yeah. we ask the cards, even though I'm, assume, I'm assuming the Wizard of Oz in, it, in itself is a fictitious story, but it's a metaphor for maybe the fall of the Emerald City. Can we first just ask the cards in the philosophy of the, of Wicked with, uh, was there something about the Wicked Witch of the West having green skin that signified a very powerful divine feminine that got destroyed through propaganda five of wands five of swords the empress the two of swords the judgment card knight of cups the emperor page of wands two of cups death card the hierophant yeah to try to change the real true meaning for real manipulation all over Bad. Yeah. Bad. The other characters are also in there, like the Scarecrow and how they come about as well. So um, mm -hmm. I would highly suggest if you haven't seen the play or read the book, um, Wicked. Definitely. So, yeah, I agree with what Kristen got. We have the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from something. So, um, and then we have the World card and the Wheel of Fortune. So they took something, a narrative, and they flipped it to make it look like the opposite of what it actually is, that will eventually come to an end too. And justice, you know, will balance itself out. Definitely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you guys really, I mean, it's an incredible, it's an, an incredible story. If you uh, read Wicked. Now, let me ask you this. So Stephanie, you brought this to my attention. When we look at the movie, the, Wiz the wizard of Oz before Dorothy goes to can, uh, to, to, Oz and she's in Kansas everything's in black and white right and then she goes to Oz and everything's in vibrant colors now we know or we've been told like if you read the Sophia code it talks about like all of our past lives everything is simultaneously happening at the same time on different timelines and we know we're coming to a merging of timelines right now is in the Wizard of Oz the story of the Wizard of Oz with the yellow brick road in the Emerald City that's also now coming up in our reality with the black and white and the color is this two different timelines simultaneously happening at the same time? A negative timeline and a positive timeline. And all Dorothy wants to do is go home back to the black and white, which I think they're trying to play on people's emotions to bring them back to the negative timeline because that's what we know. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it is telling me it's definitely on two different timelines. So that is a yes. And I see a lot of battle here, a lot of battle, but it is coming. It's going to come to a close to the judgment card here. That's a wild, to think about the different realities, the multiverses is just a yeah. wild, wild thing to think and about. Merging, yes, <clears throat> they are. Wow. I have Ace of Cups to answer the question. Um, one timeline is pretty much, Surrender <laughs> yourself, That's surrender right. your freedoms. And then the other timeline is more of a um, two of cups with the Empress card. So again, we have more of that balanced feminine energy. They used a feminine in Wizard of Oz to, to play take out, out another role. feminine. Yeah, another exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then you have um, contracts <laughs> or, or unions and, and yeah. you know, like this is more of a happier timeline. That's what I got with that. So is the um, exposure of yeah. the yellow brick road under the Pacific Ocean for us, is that a marker of our timeline now merging with the timeline of, we'll say, Oz? I feel like it is. Yeah. Sure. Me too. Because why else would we need to know that? You know, and, and I've said this before, it's, it's um, even for us who are awake and we want to know the truth and we want to, we want to see this stuff. It's still, there's still a mourning process. You still have to go through kind of a grieving process of what you thought was real, not being real. 
Yeah. You know, that's a lot to go through. But um, so why, you know, why now? Why is that those that yellow brick road coming up now? Yeah. Page of Pentacles, King of Wands. I feel like because we're finally at that a level, some type of level now, you know, and it's like a new beginning. We're about to enter a new beginning. We've activated to a certain point where we can we can start to take it in. Yes, activated. That's such yeah. That's exactly it. So we're just approaching that, and then I did get the Mister T card too. The Emperor, the King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Chariot. So definitely very cool. There is so much feminine energy around this subject, guys. I keep getting this Emperor Empress card. And I want you to take a look. What, it, what color is she wearing? Emerald. Oh, yeah. I just noticed that. I keep getting Beautiful. this card. And it's got my palm trees. <laughs> just to note that. Kristen, I have an obsession with palm trees. Oh, um, I just need to, like, move myself to a destination oh. of tropicalness. <laughs> Anyways, wait. We could go to go Hawaii. <laughs> okay. I, I so just we, got something, but go ahead. Yeah. So feminine energy. Lovers coming together, so that could be unions of twin flames, uh, mm -hmm. soulmates. Um, so this is a marker, absolutely. We have love offering. We're also taking back our power and our sovereignty with the King of Pentacles, and then we have a victory with the Six of Wands. Beautiful. So I first was going to ask, we know in the Wizard of Oz, like the wizard is not necessarily... It was on the bottom of my deck, Two of Pentacles. Uh, That's my timeline okay. shift. Yes. So... Is Mr. T perhaps a positive wizard of Oz? Let's see. A positive. Yeah. Let's see. Kind of, and then I have a question. I can see him doing that little dance down the yellow brick road I with I the tin man. I could see a too. <laughs> he looks yeah. like a lion with his hair, so. Yeah, he's very Yeah. Uh, yeah. I could totally. And he keeps popping up in my spreads here this morning so let's let's see beautiful because there's something about mr t that's not 100 percent human let's be honest I know. <laughs> exactly let's be honest i am getting a yes for sure ten of cups king of pentacles eight of pentacles the okay card. i found this on the web for hey certain cups king of pentacles <laughs> check it out wow that is not cool i don't even like you uh siri go away <laughs> I never use Siri, and every time it does this to me, I get so mad. <laughs> but I know that we are recording. <laughs> you know what? What's going on? <laughs> Black cats, if you're if you're watching right now, we know that your power is very weak because that was petty. That, that was, was like ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and I never ever ever use Siri. I'm gonna try to get rid of it somehow, disconnect it, get off my computer. That is horrible. I never oh. use Siri either, ever. So oh, I hear no. you. But oh my gosh, it says yes, Mr. T is, sure. How dare they try to interrupt me? <laughs> they don't want us to know that he's the, the, know. Merlin, the Merlin yeah. of the good guys. Exactly. And he is, he, his purpose here this time is to like change everything for everyone, for all, for the good of the people. Push that little yeah. timeline. <laughs> exactly. And to bring us balance, judgment card, to bring us back to, to how we should be living you know, without all this evil, terrible stuff. Ugh, terrible. Amazing. I know. So what did you so, get, Steph? So this page of cups is like, if we're looking at the Wizard of Oz, we're looking at the guy behind the curtain, right? It's probably more of a negative aspect of the Wizard of Oz, right? Because he's kind of like a fake and a floozy fraud. So page of cups is like a love offering, a, a loving communication. So this is like a, he's loving... Well, it doesn't come off lovingly sometimes because he has to be kind of cutthroat because he's literally... He's the king of swords. He's trying to defeat the, yeah. the demon, well, the the devil, really. Um, but inward, this is a, it's like he's offering of... It's I don't want to say the word sacrificing himself, but he's like... He's doing what he's doing for the love of humanity. Yeah. Right? So this is a positive card. Uh, and <clears throat> he's turning the wheel. He's literally at the helm of the ship because we're looking at that. And he's turning 
what was we were on this negative course right of like all the agendas that they had and we're flipping it to the top where we're going on a positive timeline <coughs> on a different track a different journey a different beginning he's karmically here probably with the rest of us here maybe didn't have yeah. that choice because he was probably there during atlantis himself um he's been working very very hard um to bring in something we wish for something we hope for the positive um and actually i feel like what do we have here i have the three of wands it's like something will come out in the near future something will happen in the near future where it's actually going to actually show the legitimate Intel of that, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely. A big reveal for sure. We're walking away from the old. <laughs> All I see is just Mr. B's face. <laughs> um, so um, this might sound crazy, but Steph and I have been like contemplating what exactly is Mar a Lago? Like, what is Mar a Lago? Yeah. Is Mar a Lago connected to the Emerald City? Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like it's a portal, and I do. I've, I've been, been saying that for a while too, Kristen. I've been thinking there's a portal there as well. Yeah. So, is that the missing link to with Mar a Lago? Like, is that is it connected to, or is he trying to, or is he trying to pull the Emerald City to Mar a Lago so it's in safety? Mm. Shut the front door. What? <laughs> Uh, uh, my mom, my mom, when, before my dad passed away, when I was little, I, I was only like one or two. I don't even remember this. She saw right near there by Palm beach. Cause that's where we lived at the time. Ooh. What she said is a huge saucer that went under the ocean. <gasps> she saw it. She saw a big UFO go into the ocean. Holy crap. There you go. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so let's, so there's something, we know there's something mystical yeah. about Mar a Lago. It's not just a freaking hotel. And if you guys watch the air, the, the military airplane, uh, air traffic, I watch that. I, I, I have a couple channels on Telegram and stuff that they study this stuff. There's mm -hmm. a, in that particular area of that coastline, right over the water, there's a lot of military action. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's ask. Wow. That just came to me. She told me that story last year. There's something about Mar-a-Lago, guys. It is. Yeah. It is a connection. I feel like the portal is there, too. But it is. He's. I think he's trying to harvest it close to him. Yeah. Mar -a -Lago. And it's safe. It's protected. My friend Tamara, I mean, we know Florida's uh -huh. protected. We know, we know it is. We know out of oh, all the states in the union, Florida is, like, fortified with yeah. protection. So, yeah. um with both Mr. T and DeSantis being there, like it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's very powerful. It's very protected. It's, oh my gosh. And he is, he's getting it harvested closer to him at Emerald city. That's insane. <laughs> what an investigation. <laughs> wild i think we're gonna have to do follow up on some of this stuff too because i'm gonna knock on my door from some sort of military personnel and be like yep i know i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> i gave away your intel <laughs> we told yeah. everyone you to. <laughs> well i have my mr t card here so that's the king of swords he can come up as the emperor too but yeah and this and he's definitely i mean he's a high dimensional being um with high amounts of power and he's actually yes he's bringing it into him this is usually walking away i'm actually getting it like the energy and every time we pull on this emerald city guys it's like empress 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 because there's been that feminine energy that's being maybe harnessed and because it's been temporarily um twisted and we have the world card so major changes are coming <coughs> I'm getting there as a connection. Mm -hmm. And I had a vision as I was pulling of like this, this like portal that just goes right into the Emerald City. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think I think that's part of the Olympic roads too. It's like all roads lead to Rome. All those roads probably led to the Emerald City. And I, I mean, guys, there is a lot more that I want to plan another episode because I've, I'm even want to get into like mermaids and stuff, which I know we don't have time for that today. Um, because I, I now have more questions regarding some of the Cassiopeians forums that now are starting to make a lot more sense. Can we ask? I know because Kristen's got to go. She's got to go do, do her Nancy Drew. We got time. We got time. Okay, girl. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's got a full day today. She's going to be Nancy Drew in that Disneyland. So. Oh, my gosh. Um, can we, let's just tease it for next time before we do our closing cards. Are mermaids real? Mm. Ironically, using my mermaid deck. Exactly. You're going to have to use it next time, too, because there's, there's a lot there that have the, all listed down here that has to actually do with the unicorn country um and the black <laughs> every time you say that i laugh that's when we do know that that the, the the controllers are scared when you can't actually say a country's name on youtube because they don't want you I, acknowledging that it's all a show right what they're doing exactly i am getting that they did exist i want to know if they still do I did get this on a live show before too, that they did exist. So it does, it does seem like some of them probably have suffered. Maybe we have lost quite a bit of them, you know? So <coughs> I'm just, I'm curious now because there could be, they could be presently still here. We'll have to look. I actually have an them. answer to that. <sighs> Tell me. They do <laughs> exist. They're in a different dimension, just like the dragons and fairies and all of okay. that. Right? So it's yeah. a different dimension along with this magician card. So that's telling me absolutely. We're actually, they're actually waiting on us. And they're actually been trying to collaborate and work together probably with the white hats with these cards. That's the eight of pentacles with the three of pentacles. So collaboration and working very hard on something. Right. Um, we often get that they're evil. Again, it might be like, demons where maybe they were manipulated as well because they actually free will there could be some good and some bad they all probably have free will a love offering coming here this is a love offering but yeah they've been they've been kind of chained up too with the hangman card but yeah i'm getting they did exist it's just an, it's it's a different dimension once we ascend we'll probably be able to see them cool. i wonder how many mermaids i've swam with and i don't see them well some people do see them at the Black Sea, which we're going to get into next week, guys. It's just a teaser for our next time. But um, what is, so can I ask, are mermaids associated with the Emerald City that's under the sea? Under the sea. Exactly. Under the sea. Ariel. <laughs> Sebastian. Oh downward. I will lurk. Uh, downward. We need to watch that movie and go back and do a whole, we should do a whole video on Little Mermaid. You got the sun card. The sun card. You should on the Little Mermaid. And the Little Mermaid, oh my gosh, that Ursula character. Like I tried to watch it again as an adult, but I got I, I it scared me because she takes her soul, remember, and her voice. Mm -hmm. It scared me. But as a kid, I guess I didn't pick that up or notice it. But now, yeah. oh my gosh, it's hard to watch that part. It's so sinister. Yeah. So, so mermaids are associated with the Emerald City, which is kind of what they were showing us in the Little Mermaid. Celebration. Oh, it absolutely so is. Yeah. Like, come on. Wow. So oh, are wow. Oh wow. The same thing, Steph. Cool. Okay. So there there's strength and celebration around it. <coughs> With celebration, we have three of cups. That's like literally like these are two very celebratory cards along with the strength card. Um but there but what happened was they were blocked from it. There's a lot of dissatisfaction there, but justice is coming. Wow. Are there some though that perhaps are guarding the Emerald City? Some that are guarding. Now I know for those of you who live in <coughs> we're gonna get to that next time because I understand that there's a lot of stuff connected to the Black Sea too, which also puts us right into the area of the unicorn country. So um that will be at the next time because there's a lot to dig into that. I do feel so. I do feel they are guarding, they're protective of it. I'm also picking up that they're, these are nice ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the ones that are protecting it are nice ones. And then the Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles. I think that's showing me that, yes, it's in a different dimension like Steph discovered there. And then the Star card too. Beautiful. 
They're good. Uh, yeah. They're protectors. They're protecting the I'm animal. I'm getting yeah. goosebumps. <laughs> I want you to look at this card. It's a, it's a warrior mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm getting literally like, I'm looking at the picture like guarding. Yeah. You can't see them though. Because again, of that dimensional difference, and they are absolutely like very multi-dimensional beings of the light. And yeah. I got an ace around it, and I get that um, they might actually be helping us in the future with the rebirthing process of everything too. I mean, everything has to. There's an equilibrium. Every every single uh, life being of life of light, you know, there's a balance and they're needed in some sort of area. Yeah. So these, these elementals and mermaids and everything will be, I really feel like yeah, el um, yes. So can I ask one question regarding the Vatican then? We know that the hat, no, I'm not Catholic, but I know that the hat they wear is representation of like a fish. Is by chance okay. the Vatican, is that one of the many sinister things they do? Are they trying to harness the energy through the mermaid of Emerald City into the Vatican through their obsession with fish. And you know what, what did they what did they draw Jesus as? A fish. A fish. A fish yeah. of men. But we know that Yahshua was a vegetarian. So yeah. exactly. Where did the whole fish thing come from. They are they're trying to um, take it and capture it. I did I got the hierophant in reverse. Because well, I don't want to say, <laughs> but oh, I'm a high priestess. I think our viewers know that. That's not good. Okay, just saying. Dirty deeds <laughs> done dirt cheap. Yeah. Although I'm not doing them dirt cheap, but dirty, dirty deeds. <clears throat> yeah. Good one, though, to think of that. Man. They're isolating. They're trapping, imprisoning the good energy, the lover energy. And they're trying to switch out the um, the timeline that we're going into. The the mermaids. Mermaids. So with that then saying, so the positive mermaids that are still out, <laughs> they're protecting humans, basically. They're trying to protect humans. Yes. Yeah. And they're trying to preserve the Emerald City for the humans. I don't, I don't even think it's just for human beings. I think it's for the, the galactics, too, because whatever happens on Earth, it's like America. Yeah. But whatever happens in America affects the rest of the world. Whatever affects Earth affects the rest of the world. I mean, right. affects the rest of the galaxy. Well, they're all fighting over us right now. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's how fantastic we are. They're all they're all tailgating it right now, like with their ships. Boys, and stop. Don't fight. <laughs> I'll have to post some pictures on my community tab and my Telegram channel because, oh, my God, some of the clouds I captured the other day. I'm like, I'm in the car and I'm like, said, I said out loud to myself, I'm like, am I about to witness <laughs> an alien invasion? Like, Ooh. what are we doing here? What are you guys doing? Like, wow. I'm trying to telepathically talk to them. Like, what are you preparing for? Because I see you. <laughs> I mean, we're literally stuck in the middle. We're like a freaking, the cream, the cream of a Twinkie. We're like, we're in the middle. Oh, that sounded yeah. really bad. That's really bad. Either bad. We're like that cream of the, of the yeah. yeah. We're yeah. The, yeah. Like a, that sounded like an ace of cops, Christ. We're the baby batter. I'm just like, we're stuck. We're That's literally so stuck funny. in the middle. And we got, we can't get off this planet. We got nowhere to go. So. Um, oh, like in the middle, in between. Exactly. Yeah. We're stuck. So, um, so. Maybe next yeah. time we'll say a whoopie pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're the meat and the sandwich of what's happening in between. So, For real. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's in the sea. It's in the sky. It's in, uh, I mean, uh, holy shit, you guys. Uh, like, okay, so did the Atlanteans work with the mermaids? Hmm. And well, all that folklore, I mean, they even made, they made a movie called Atlantis and it was about mermaids. I have, yes. And also I'm looking at um, the off-worlders, too. That's why they had to erase our memory to come back to Earth, because if we remembered all this shit, game over for them, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Instead, they just put it in Disney movies. Yeah. Didn't you tell me mermaids were bad at one point? There's some that are. There's some I think that are, too, yeah. I, mean, I think, they I have think that's their karma is to help us. 
That's what I'm getting in my cards. So they turn their back on the human species and now they have to course correct. A mermaid look. Or Atlantis at least. <laughs> it's pretty. Cool. Yeah. This and is- yes, yeah, so the some are bad, some are very good. But the ones that are bad, I think you're correct. The karmic cycle. They have to do it again. They have to help. I mean, you know, I, I laugh about this, but if I was hanging out on the beach and I literally saw a mermaid, I think I would like piss my pants. <laughs> I, like, like <laughs> I would too. <laughs> I would, like, piss oh my, my gosh! <laughs> it's being clean to see that. I want to though. I invite you yeah. to come. I think we will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Right. I have the sun card. So that's yeah, like a yeah. Twice now, twice the mermaid question is the sun card. Yeah, yeah. But I have two. Again, we have feminine energy, but it's more of the um what? Keep going. I just got to hit with something. Okay. Um so yeah, it's like they have a connection with Atlantis. <clears throat> There's something very karmic going on because I have the justice and the judgment card here. Um there is celebration around it. It's like they need to either let go of something or they need to hold on to something. And I'm kind of trying to figure what. Maybe it's a little of both, like forgive themselves for the past, but hold on to protecting the Emerald City for the future. Of the earth, of the cosmos. Maybe they're holding on to it for us to preserve it. Preserve. I do have preserved here. Interesting. Because the last question I'm going to ask after this is going to bring us right back to the beginning of this. Wow. So y'all just let me know when you're ready. Insane. Yeah, I'm ready. So were mermaids the ones that showed the um, explorers of the sea the yellow brick road? Even if they didn't know it, were they the ones guiding that submarine to find that yellow brick road? Were the mermaids responsible for this information getting out to humans? Because us humans, we can't go underwater and just walk the yellow brick road. This yes. yes, yes. The messengers also guiding them in the direction. Three of cups, the empress. Fem- this is feminine energy right here. That's a yes. We also have the four swords in reverse, page of wands, all this new stuff, information. Where they're leading them, there's more. There's so much more. <clears throat> so many different paths I'm picturing, different directions that they haven't really shown yet. So many. Right. Is your question related to showing the, the the controllers the yellow brick road or the White House? I don't know. It, so we don't. We we kind of got it was with both coming through with both. So yeah, I think I have the higher font in the death card. Well, I think that the controllers already knew the yellow brick road was there, but the group that found this yellow brick road were just basic like explorers that, you know, just like common folk like us. So I don't, I'm not saying that they were sitting in their submarine and a, and a, and a mermaid waved them down and pointed. Um, no. I think it literally helped steer the ship. Yeah. To, maybe to expose it to. Um, the guide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because what, what besides besides marine life, what other conscious life is down there? And animals, marine animals, probably wouldn't. That's not their responsibility. It might be the mermaid's responsibility or the merman's responsibility to kind of be almost like angels of the water. Yeah. Well, that could be my higher fun card than the angels of the water. Wow. I know this is normally like a spiritual leader, but if, I mean, angels of the water, that would be spiritual if it's like angelic, right? <coughs> Definitely. And showing them <clears throat> the way. Um, definitely, again, how many times has this card come up? The Empress card. A lot. And I guess a lot of, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, they did collaborate because I have the Three of Pentacles right here. And there must have been a lot of stuff there. I get the nine of pentacles. That's like. This is getting exciting. And look at that card, guys. Okay. I mean, like, literally, look at the color. Beautiful. It's that emerald. It's what's that? Yeah. That green, luscious grass. It's that, yeah. you know, you think of that vibrant green as health. 
Yeah. Can we ask after really quick before we yeah. end yeah, if priestesshood of Isis is connected to this like the remote city? Because I'm getting such feminine energy around it. Yeah. I'll pull yeah, yeah. 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 I did pull some up for the end. I was I was uh, oh and guys, um FYI, um the Oracle cards I used last time, the Palladian deck, a lot of people have asked me where you got it. I put it on the, if you look on my community tab, there's a link. And on my Twitter, there's a link to the Palladian Oracle deck that we used last time, just so everyone knows. I'm going to, I have some cards out for the uh, Angels of Atlantis, actually, for when we finish up for you guys. But I'll pull my, I'll pull my tear. I'll pull like three cards. Um, so we're asking if, was it Mermaids or the Emerald City was the Priestesshood of Isis? Come Emerald, City. Emerald, Emerald City. City. Was the Emerald City. Yeah. <gasps> Oh my God. <laughs> the Four of Wands. Yes. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Oh yeah. Strong, yes. I mean, I only pulled three cards, guys, but I got the Two of Cups. The Moon card, which is there were secrets. And obviously, yeah. the Moon, I mean, she kind of looks a little mermaid ish, right? Yes. Six, yeah. six of Pentacles. Beautiful. And the strength card was on the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. So I would take that as a yes. My cards are like, holy crap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles, number one. So yes. Again. Again. <laughs> wow. And I got Ace of Pentacles, too. I just pulled the, the Empress card. Okay. And then <laughs> there was a lot of um, intuition. There was... They... <clears throat> um, there is... Yeah, there's a lot of energy of like uh, I just got hit with something loving energy and intuition energy, and then of course we have these setbacks here. I have the devil card with the five of cups, so the devil and the puppets cause these disappointments and setbacks. Um, it's like frozen in time, <clears throat> like literally frozen in time. Like they've like this like. Oh, captive. Yeah, held captive. They're actually, it's like there's a waiting upon the, the liberation of it. Yeah. Well, we know water. It's going to be soon. We know water is emotion. It's also in the womb, which is the woman. Yeah. Um, so did the, did the priestesshood of Isis work with mermaids? Or we know a lot of people in the priestesshood were able to shapeshift. And shape-shifting isn't just something the negative people do. The positive people can shape-shift as well. Um, yeah. It just depends on what you use it for. Or were um, priestess able to potentially shape-shift into mermaids? What do we want to ask first? Hmm. Well, just give us a basic relationship between mermaids and... I yeah. tend to ask the specific question because so the card is like literal. Did they work with the mermaids? And is that why a lot of us who have heritage from that priestesshood want to be on the coast, what, want to be by water? Yeah. Well, when I first saw the Little Mermaid as a little girl, I was obsessed. Obsessed. Yeah. That and the Lion King. Those were the yeah. and Aladdin. I love that. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, let's, let's right? do it. Let's do it. But hey, yeah. You got yeah. Work, work being done. These are work cards. Heavy work being done. And then look how beautiful and green this one is here. Beautiful. Feminine. Strength oh, card. Wow. Six of Swords, going from the darkness into the light, the Hierophant, and the Strength card. And there's your lion. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they did. Two of Confirm. Cups, because that is working together with somebody. Um, <coughs> then, of course, things happened. Um, I do get the sun around this, so that is a yes. Um, a lot of quick movement here with this question so i wonder if they had portals to get i'm sure they did because they would go off to off planet yeah. too like hathor and isis would go on and off planet all the time they would go to different planets so um so i know Kristen, we're i know you've got to head out soon so 
why don't we go ahead so that you can go and do your i'm just i'm so jealous of you i wish i could be there with you today to do this in disneyland but um <laughs> let's let's close it up and you guys work I, I, if, if the girls are okay with it i want to do a follow-up on this because i want to go deeper into this mermaid okay. thing because i know it connects with the black sea and i know it connects with the, uh, the unicorn country and so i think it's all kind of tying together but just to, to, to for the departing words is there anything that spirit wants our audience to know right now in this here now moment and while you guys are pulling, I pulled my Angels of Atlantis deck, Oracle, and I got love, Beautiful. grace, friendship, and look at this last card, empathy, and look at the beautiful color. Oh, I love it. I love the lotus flower, too. I know, it's beautiful. We've Have come through the muck. <laughs> We've come through the yeah. muck, and now we're blooming. Exactly. I oh, wow. Wow. Release. I have blessings and success. I pulled out my sacred destinies from Long Island. <laughs> but I love I just it. got that deck. I love it. Oh, I love it. So yeah, I think that we're all, that's what we're going through. A sense of release, blessings, and success to come. We're ascending. Beautiful. And we're going to be playing with mermaids in the Emerald City soon, guys. Yeah. So. Stay positive. I think the message is like, stay positive. Um, you know, don't get caught up in, you know, feeling down about stuff or things aren't happening fast enough. It's coming. We're, we're, we're all on this, this ship together. <laughs> For real. Just <laughs> follow the that yellow brick road. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have Gemini energy here with the lover's card. Wow. That could be uh, unions. There's um, Gemini, yeah. Yeah, we're in a very loving energy anyways. A lot of Venusian energy as well as Emmy was telling us on our show the other day, Bryce. Nice. Um, so yeah, lots of Gemini energy unity um lots of feminine energy also coming in spirit wants us to know the feminine is getting restored and i say restored because i have the nine of pentacles there's a lot of action there's a lot of movement coming in fast that are going to make uh worldwide changes definitely amazing Beautiful. good job Thank you, girls. We're going to, I mean, I think this is a, a never ending discovery, but I just have so much fun with this alternative history because literally the possibilities are endless. It was Mark Twain that said the truth is stranger than fiction. So um, now, Kristen, I cannot wait to see what happens today. Well, I know. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. I will keep I will, in touch with both of you and let you know. Yeah, yeah okay. let us know. I will, and I'm going to put guys in the link in the description box below. Of course, there's going to be a link to both Stephanie and Kristen's channels. And I'm also going to have a tip option if you guys want to tip Stephanie and uh, Kristen, buy them a coffee or something. Uh, I'll let, let Kristen go get herself a little drink or snack at Disneyland. <laughs> so um, if you feel so inclined to thank oh, them so for their fun. channeling. So I love you girls so much. And I'm so happy to be on this battlefield with you guys. Once okay. again, we've, we've done this many anytime so um, so we will see you guys very 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 soon everybody please be safe uh get excited and um, start thinking about those mermaids because guess what they're coming <laughs> so we're gonna see them yes, yes. bye guys bye, bye.